All right, welcome back to, I think this is part 20. Um, so in the last video, uh, we, attack, we gave our properties uh, different images. And um, in the last video, I was pondering whether to give our uh, properties like multiple images so that it has a default image and, and has a slideshow like real Airbnb. But I'm deciding against that because this uh, project is getting blown. Like I'm, I'm deciding against that not because it's difficult to do, um, but because this this uh, project is kind of blowing out of proportion and uh, it's taking a little longer than I thought. So I want to kind of cut the scope where it can be cut just so that we can get to the uh, Airbnb's basic uh, functionality. So we're going to cut that part, but our properties will still have images and the user when they create properties and like when we eventually add the host function. Um, the user will be able to upload at least um, one uh, one image for the property. So we'll leave this at that. In this current video, I'm going to or I'm going to work on the um, the review system, at least the primitive version, um, and will so that we can have this uh, star rating uh, right here. And in the next video, video we'll probably add the uh, favorite. Um, button as well and then for the to wrap this uh, properties page up we'll we'll get to um, this reservation section which is I think it'll be a little bit more complicated um, so let's get this review system out of the way the way we're going to do that is um, we are going to create a new model uh, we'll call this review and a review belongs to um, technically a property um, and it can be written by a user. Uh, so we have to think a little bit um, forward with this because in Airbnb, um, we have, like, you can review multiple things, right? In action and actually Airbnb. You can review a property, like your, your stay. Um, you can review a host, and a host can also review... Um, the, I guess the customer, like the temporary tenant. Um, so this reviews table, we, we can technically create a reviews table for multiple models. So we can create like a property reviews table. Um, we can also create um, a, we can create, what do we, like we can create like a, host reviews table, we can also create users review table. But that's a lot of tables that kind of does um, the same thing. So um, instead of doing that, we're just going to create one review model. And we're going to make this a polymorphic uh, table and, and have it have uh, polymorphic associations. And if, you, if you're not familiar with the, what that is, um, what that is is um, it's basically a table that can belong to multiple entities. So this is one example. This is a classic example. There's an authored book. Um, and is this a classic example? No, hold on. It's not. i got to go to the polymorphic section. So this is a classic example. Uh, there's a picture. There's an employee. And then there is um, a product. And uh, a picture, like an image, can like an employee can have a, have a picture and a product can have a picture. There isn't really a, a reason to have like an employee pictures table and product pictures table. So in this case, uh, it's making one pictures table that can belong to both employee and a product. And the way you do this is you create the pictures table and then you make two columns. One is an imageable ID and one is an imageable type. And the imageable ID is like a foreign key uh, that uh, gets tied to, in this case, the employee ID and the product, product ID. And the imageable type defines um, a, like the, the model name. So in this case, if the imageable type says employee, then the foreign key gets mapped to the uh, employees table. If this says a product, it'll get mapped to the products table. That's what we want to do with the reviews table. Um, I'm going to say Rails generate model. And um, I'm going to open up that migration file. And I'm going to copy um, this part. I think I already got the timestamps, so we don't need that. And 
we'll say we'll also add the index here like this to the reviews table and we'll say this is reviewable ID and this is also reviewable type and we'll add the index like this and um, I want the review to have um, a title right I want it also to have uh, the body of the review so like the content of the review and I also want it to have a rating like this so it goes from like one to five and I think that's all we need so I'm no hold on we also need reviewed by but I don't want to add that yet no I don't want to add that yet um, I want to add that when uh, we add the section where the user can actually review a property and review something so I'm gonna set it like this and I'm going to run our migration and I'm gonna open up our review model I'm gonna add some specs to it we'll say a review has to have let's see validates presence of title validates presence of body um, validates presence of rating and it should it says should validate presence of like this and should belong to I think um, reviewable and also rails integer validation integer range and we'll say validates should I matches gem From one to five so should be greater than or equal to zero now greater than or equal to one and then less than or equal to um five yeah so we'll add the validations greater than or equal to so we'll say it should validate numericality of rating is greater than or equal to one right and it's less than or equal to five And it should also be only integer. Only integer. 
only integer. Okay. And what else? I think that's it. Or should it? Can you also do like it should be in? Even odd. No, I think in shadow mattress is the only way to do it. So we'll say, um, we'll start filling this out. Validates title, presence true. Um, Validates body, presence true. Validates rating, rating, presence true. Numericality, and let's say, let's see, this can, we can do it like this. In one, two, five. Maybe it has to be like, yeah, I don't think this will work. I'll copy this. And is greater than or equal to one, less than or equal to five. If I run the specs now, still fails ah and it's because i need this to be only an integer so like this yep and should belong to reviewable polymorphic true, I think. That's how you do yep, polymorphic true. And now um should ah, belongs to it's plural. There we go, passes. Now all the specs should pass. Perfect, and that's good. Now we want to open up our property table, and we want to say has many reviews um, as reviewable. And we also want to say, after doing that, we want to open up, no, hold on. We want to open up our property spec. We want to say it should have many images. No, not images, reviews. If we run the spec, the whole spec suite, whole test suite, it all passes. And if we open up our Rails console, we get a property. And if we list of reviews we have no reviews here okay 
Now, for testing purposes, uh, we want to add some reviews. So we'll say one, two, I don't know, 15. Do say one to five reviews. Title is let's just call it Faker Body is Faker as well. Paragraph and I think this will work. Okay. Now, if we reset our database again to get our seeds file to run, run our server. In our Rails console, we should have some reviews, which we do. And in our, um, like, let's say we get one of our properties and we get a bunch of reviews, we get a bunch of reviews for our properties. And the way we'll um, get the uh, average rating for our reviews is will sum all the um, rating for the properties reviews and then we'll get the average or I think it's all average of review I think this works no it doesn't work I know rating to okay I think that works so the way we do it so here what we'll do is we'll say mm, property average rating is reviews dot average average um, rating and with that we can say property dot reload dot average rating we got it. I think we always have I forgot to save the file get the property average rating okay And with that, what we'll do is 
in our home file like this, we'll say, oh no, we have the uh, title, right? So we'll put this in a div. No, we'll, we'll just add a new line. I think that's easier. We'll say class say property dot average rating to an integer and no way to Maybe like round to to one. Yeah. And no, round to two. Okay. And we'll put make this text black and we'll give the little little star icon which I think Hero, hero icons. We can use hero icons. We'll look for a star. Um, copy the SVG. We'll just paste it in here. If we do that, uh, we don't get what I want. <laughs> um, maybe I have to put this in um, in a span. just to give it a class of inline block there we go but it looks a little little off yeah I know why it's off but I should move this up a little bit. So I'll make this relative this put display and I'll say bottom five pixels. I think that'll be a little too much. That is a little too much. So I will move this to bottom. Two pixels look pretty good. So I'll put it at two pixels and now it looks pretty good. I like it. Maybe the star's a little big. Maybe I can make the star into height four. too small I think this is fine Let's just stick with this all right so um, that's how we get the uh, the uh, the average rating um, I'm gonna end the video right here I think um the next video I might do a refactoring of this because we are joining tables here um, technically what we can do is um, every time we create a review, um, we can store the average um, rating in, uh, in the properties table. So I may do that in the next uh, video. I'm not sure if, um, if, I, if I really care about all the, the doing everything super optimally in this, in this uh, tutorial, but um, I got 
you know, I got uh, I got what I wanted to achieve for for this video. So I'm gonna end this right here. Um, I'll decide what to do in the next one. So uh, stay tuned.